Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Vanilla 1.16 survival series where in this episode we need to fix an issue and that issue is food because I think that yeah this is um these two melon right here oh and a couple of cooked chickens but besides that um food is at critical level <laughs> we need uh, more food and uh, we're going to be doing something today to fix that. But anyways, if you did not watch the last episode, we uh, we, we made this home into a lot... Well, it's a lot more homey now. I hope you will agree. Um, I fixed the ceiling here and I also... Uh, well, it's pretty much one and a half block tall. I, I, th I really like this. There's a slab here and a stair and then obviously blocks. Um, I really like how this looks actually. Like, I, I really like it. it. It's small, and it's homey, and it's open to the open world of Minecraft. But anyways, um, also, we made this hopper system so that items that are done smelting gets put in here, and that leads right into our lovely chest here, um, which is pretty cool. Maybe at a later date we'll be able to make a bigger one and with some item sorting and whatnot. Um, but anyways, today we will be making a semi-automated farm um, For potatoes really is the main thing that I want to make it for but we can make it into other stuff as well, of course um, Because I really like baked potatoes in Minecraft and I feel like it's really it, it's a good food source Maybe not the best, but I like it um, and I have found a place for it. Oh, by the way um I managed to get a jungle sapling and now we have two jungle trees here. So hopefully we won't run out of saplings anytime soon. And we are starting to chew on the chicken, so oh dear. And the sun is going down. But anyways, I marked a little spot over here. It is going to be a little bit redstone uh, related. Um, and I'm going to place the module here and you'll see uh, what it is when we actually start making it. Um, but yeah, I want to make it here and eventually I'm hoping to maybe be able to fit four of these modules I want to make in here. Eventually, if that's doable, maybe. But I just wanted to say before the sun goes down, I really like this area because we have like this area in here that is kind of like down here and then there's hills uh, going up. And then we have like this small entrance here that kind of leads into this area. And then we have the base which then leads over to this like open area still with like hills around it. Um, and the jungle over there leading all the way over here and then again we have an opening that kind of leads into this spot here and I'm thinking maybe making this into like an animal place open animal place just making sure they can't get out and then this is the entrance something like that I, I think I really want to utilize this area but anyways it is getting dark it is getting dangerous so let's go ahead and let's sleep and let's uh, gather the stuff that we need. Well, I have already gathered what we need. Uh, we just need to pretty much uh, just craft a few things and then we can get to building. So let's go ahead and do a little sleepity sleep. All right, so I have everything we need in this chest. Let's open it. Uh, for this build, we are going to need, well, not four water buckets. We're actually gonna need eight water buckets, um, but we, we, have, we have plenty of iron. <laughs> <laughs> we got enough. Um, but anyways, we need eight dispensers. We need a hopper, a chest. We need four more dispensers. So for that, we need some more redstone and a button. And then, of course, all the water pockets as well. But I think we're going to wait with those till we're ready. And then, of course, crops that we want to put in here. I'm thinking potatoes. And to begin with, because we can't fill this, everything out with potatoes and I only have one bone meal left, we'll just mix and match crops and uh, eventually we'll make it potato only. Uh, but first we need to make some more dispensers and for that we need some more sticks. Uh, okay, so for a dispenser we need a bow. Uh, four? Yes, four. Beautiful. We're also going to need more redstone dust for this so we're gonna go ahead and dispenser, 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 and dispenser. Eight dispensers. Perfect. We're gonna grab a little bit of redstone. We don't need that much. Oh, whoops, wrong chest. We don't need that much. But this is pretty much the stuff that we need to make this. We do need some glass, so we will need to go ahead and grab some of that eventually. I mean, we have uh, sand here and such, but I would like to take some away from this area, not to ruin this area too much. 
but we'll see. All right, so here we are. Uh, I forgot we need a, uh, eh, I need a crafting table. We also need a hoe. <laughs> Whips. All right, hoe acquired. So, in here, within these totals, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks. And here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There's a reason for this. So, on this right here, we need to have our dispensers facing this way, like so. That is going to leave us with one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 eight spaces. Basically, an eight by eight in here. Um, but actually I forgot, uh, before we place these dispensers, <laughs> we actually need to put a single water source down here. Just a single water source. So we need to break these and then we need to dig, oh, okay. We need to dig these out right here, like so. And I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. We're gonna make a quick, I guess right over here, we'll work a infinite water source. So we can get plenty of water like so and we're just gonna place one over here like so we could mm, actually you know what let's uh, let's fill it up because hearing this water flow sound is gonna be super annoying uh, after a bit so next then we need to place the dispensers on top as so boom okay so now we need to go all the way down here so eight blocks down. Uh, let me think, let me think. Okay, if my calculations are correct, we need to dig down right here, I think, if I remember right. Then we need a water source right here. And we do need some walling around this, so I think maybe we'll do some uh, stairs. Here, I suppose, to make this look nice. I think that will work. For, oh, whoopsie. I think that will work for our case right now. Okay, so if I place a water bucket right here, it should reach all the way down to here and not go over that block. Perfect. That is exactly what we wanted to happen. Well, okay, so this is basically, we're basically gonna have some redstone run over these blocks right here, which is going to activate them. They're going to put water down and it's gonna flush down all of the potatoes slash crops all the way down here, which is then going to lead down to this spot right here. And what we're gonna have on this spot is a hopper facing into that block like so. As you can see, the arrow points this way need to destroy this block and then we need to have the chest right here as the collection. Uh, now just so that this kind of makes a little bit more sense, I'm actually going to lower the front bit of this a little bit. So I think like this maybe? Like so. And one more. One more. And then we're gonna place stairs over here, do 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 do. And then we're just gonna place slabs on this bit. Just to make things look a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's good. And we can break these and we can also place some stairs like so. And of course, some full blocks to make it look pretty. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess we can get rid of this and do the same over here. Just so it's the same and looks the same and feels the same I suppose yeah that'll work that'll work for me okay so now we can easily access the chest of course right here and then we basically need to tilt all of this ground right here and the water behind these dispensers and the water from this flowing uh, flowing water path here water stream will keep all of this land hydrated and it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is a, in fact an eight by eight plot of uh, land, which is really, really cool. I really like this design. It's really simple. I just fiddled around in a creative world and came came to uh, to this thing. And I, re I I must say I really like it. Is there maybe a way I can make it turn a bit? Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. We could even make it continue 
like this basically or put slabs over but I don't really want to do that I don't mind seeing this well, slabs maybe no actually we can't put anything on top of here because otherwise the water will not be able to flow uh, and push the items down here like we need them to uh, so over here we basically need to put some redstone on this uh, to be able to activate all of them huh? uh, Hold up Hold up we have we have some visitors um How many are there? <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Do you come alone? Or are there more of you behind here? Um, I really don't want the bad omen effect. I think it's only those two. Maybe I can get him to fall? The guy. Oh. Never mind then. Uh, we have cows. I guess I can just drink some milk real quick. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, come at me, boys. Come on. I'm not really gonna capture these guys. I'm not gonna take that as a priority. Ow. Right now. Okay, that's one down. And then. You. Can we get the banner? Ooh, we got the banner. Nice. Now we do have the bad omen, but. Hey, we can put the banner on our shield. <laughs> For fun, we might do that. Uh, but we just really quickly need a cow. Cow! I need some milk to get rid of this bad omen. There we go. Perfect. Thank you for the services. Sweet. Uh, the sun is going down, so let's wrap up this redstone real quick. Uh, we also have a button here. Yes, I replaced the dark oak button. I replaced the jungle button with a dark oak button. Um, I guess we can... Put like a little bit of a thing here, like so. We are also going to actually have some glass going over here. We don't need it to be glass, but I just want it to be glass. Because I think glass will look better, so actually we do need to replace these. And then put stairs here, just so it looks better. Uh, I guess we'll do the same here then. So do that, and then do that. And put some glass over and I don't know I don't think slabs will work no no Mojang please make it so that we can put slabs here because the redstone does not fill this entire space <laughs> please um, I guess we can hide it so it's not as visible I suppose like this I mean it's gonna be visible from the inside anyway but I mean, I guess from the exterior it doesn't look as bad. Maybe. Something like this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have the wood. Okay, we, we can afford it. Um, Actually, I think this might look better. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks better, actually. That does look better from outside. Not that we're gonna look... Whoops. <laughs> Not that we're gonna see it from this perspective much. Um, But yeah, th then it just looks that much nicer. Right? Right. Okay. Ooh, spider. Give me some uh, some string, actually, now that I have it here. There we go. Just one string. That'll work. Okay, let's get some sleep, and let's make the final uh, buckets that we need. And... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing going. Does this make me a pillager now? <laughs> I must say, when the banner gets on the shield, it looks... Mm, it doesn't look as good as uh, when the... We're wearing the banner um, on their head. I, hmm, I don't think I'm gonna keep this shield like this. Um, I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna repair it. I think I'll just um, let it break. <laughs> but anyways, I made the four buckets now. Uh, we should actually get the. Uh, we'll get the crops after afterwards because we do need some sand real quick, and we need sixteen. I could take from this, make it deeper. I guess I want this deeper anyway, kinda, sorta. You know what, we can always fill it up again anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I just need 16, uh, which in fact I do have. 
For now, I might as well take these extra. Why not? 23? 24, please. There we go. 24. Not too bad. Alright, sweet. Uh, the wheat is growing pretty well as well, so that's good. We'll have a little bit of bread while we're waiting for the potatoes to, to grow. Uh, last one is smoker? Nope. <laughs> uh, do that and we can grab the wheat seeds and the potatoes as well. And then we can go ahead and farm this up real quick. Like so. No what? Nope, not shield. And some carrots as well. Let's get the carrots as well. Why not? As I said, I want this farm to be mainly for potatoes. Um, but to begin with, we really just need any food that we can get our hands on. Uh, I think we'll need some different system for this. <laughs> I guess I'll have to think of something. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for this glass to, to smelt. We need 16 in total. So I'll be right back. Actually, I'm just sitting here waiting for the glass to smelt, and I all of a sudden remembered that I did some uh, some branch mining off camera, and I found something that I would like to show you before this episode ends. Um, yeah, I, ju I just I just got reminded while I was sitting in this chest waiting for the glass to to smelt. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll look at that after we're done with the farm, which we will be in just a second once we have put the glass, tested that it works. And uh, then we just need the potatoes to grow, really. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's put the... Let's get the buckets filled up first of all. Boom, 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 boom. Now, just make sure that there's no creeper around or anything. That that would be bad. We don't want this to, to blow up. Um, you gotta, you, I left the hole. Seriously? Seriously? Did, okay. Anyways, uh, water bucket, <laughs> water bucket, water bucket, water bucket, water bucket, water bucket, and water bucket, and water bucket. Okay, cool. So now, uh, I guess, yeah, we'll put the glass as well. Don't, okay. I need some way of being able to get in here. Maybe like a trap door that's right here that I can, that I can open. Like right here, I can go up and then over. I don't know. Anyways, the glass we'll put here, and I do realize we can then see the redstone. And as I said, we don't need to use glass. We could have just put some stairs and then a slab over. The glass here, basically the blocks here, basically is for because I was testing it and I saw some items got dropped over here on the side. Um, but I didn't see it happen with these blocks here, so that's why we're gonna place those. And I just thought, why not glass? Because like, yeah, why not? Gonna look cool from a distance, I suppose. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a waste of glass and I should just have done stairs. I don't know. Anyways, what's then gonna happen is say this is fully grown and filled with potatoes. In fact, let's uh, let's place these carrots as a demonstration. Gonna get over here, place some carrots, boom, 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 boom. Oh look, all the carrots are grown. We press this button, it's gonna flow them all. It's gonna flow them all down into the hopper, which are then going to put them into the chest. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> you saw it working, and then we click the button again to then retract the water, and then we just we we do have to manually plant them. Okay, we do we do need to do some manual work, but at least the harvesting is satisfying. Okay. <laughs> That's all that matters here. So let's place all this down. Um, yes, I will have to get a hoe to fix that dirt block. Um, yeah. Uh, because I don't know if I'll be able to take that. Let me... Um, you know what? Do, do I have... Do I have, like, leather or something? Um, hmm. Hey, cat. Do I have leather? I didn't kill any cows, did I? Uh... Do we have a cow around here somewhere? <laughs> hey, look! Leather on the ground! How convenient! Alright, this should hopefully make it so that this... I never have to go back for a hoe... ever again. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully that's gonna fix that. Uh, I did want to... do this, though. Just to make it that much... 
nicer to look at. Uh, did I replace that one? I did replace that one. I guess we should replace these as well. That works. I'm not gonna do that one. Okay, you know what? Yes, I am. <laughs> Otherwise, it's probably gonna drive me and other people crazy. Anyways, that is pretty much that. Now we just need to wait for it all to fully grow. And, uh, yeah, again, the glass, I feel like it might have been a little bit overkill. Could just have put some stairs and some slabs and it would probably have looked better. But hey, this entire thing might be temporary. As I said, I would like maybe to get four whole modules here, if possible, somehow. But for now, this will do us just fine. So that is our new uh, semi-automated farm thing. I don't know. Give it a name. Now, unfortunately, we will probably not be able to see the farm in action today uh, because I'm going to wrap up this episode in just a bit. Uh, but we will hopefully be able to use it next time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep. I'm actually going to make some, some bread real quick because I'm running out of food. Uh, I'm going to sleep and we're going to head down in the mine and I'm going to show you what I found. There's actually a lot of spiders here. I would not mind uh, getting a few to get some string for future things. What on earth is up with this spider? <laughs> Those hits were weird. I feel like anyway. Okay, and there we go. A creeper. I really don't want to find a creeper. Please don't blow up. Okay. I actually like the axe as a weapon. I actually like it. Okay. Oh, that's an, okay. Wow, there's a lot of spiders. There is a lot of spiders here. I will not complain. I will not complain. Anyways, this is where we were down mining uh, in the last episode. Did we mine in the last episode? I believe we mined down in the last episode. There's some of this that I have not yet um, explored or discovered. Well, that doesn't matter. I just need to be able to find my way to where... The ravine was, I believe it's this way, somewhere. Oh yeah, right here. Right here indeed. I need a better elevator than these blocks, but this is fine. All right, there we go. And then right down here, I actually made it where we found the first diamonds, which is right here. I just started digging down. Oh, there's some iron. How did I miss that? Gold? How did I miss? Uh, how did I miss this when I made this? Ah! Excuse me, fella. Okay, we should be good. How did I miss this when I when I first? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't care at the time. I have no idea. Uh, but hey, some extra gold. Anyways, I dug down here and I started doing branch mining, and I found that. That's pretty cool. Uh, did I leave? Yeah, I left some redstone. My pickaxe broke. Uh, but yeah, I found some diamonds. I have no idea how big this vein is. I have a little bit of an idea because it doesn't go down any further here. But who knows? Maybe... Oh, it does go up. Well, let's see how many diamonds we get. One. Oh. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Five diamonds. Which, if my math is correct, five plus three equals eight. That's enough for an enchantment table and a diamond pickaxe and three remaining. Ooh, that's pretty good. That That's not bad. That's not that bad. That's enough for, as I said, a diamond pickaxe, an enchantment table, and three more to something else. Maybe a diamond sword? I feel like maybe a diamond sword would be in order. Or a diamond axe. A diamond axe with sharpness would be pretty cool. Let me know what you think we should use those extra three diamonds for. But anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. I did not know there were that many, actually. Um, so that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. So that is really amazing that we got down and got those. Die, please. Thank you. I'll gladly take the bone, because that means more bone meal for me. Let's get back up and let us wrap up the episode. If I can find my way back, which shouldn't be an issue, hopefully. The farm is already doing very nicely. We should be able to harvest the first, take the first, make the first 
do the first harvest. I don't know. <laughs> we should be able to do the first harvest in the next episode, hopefully. That would be really good. Alright, so just gonna add the diamonds to the collection with the redstone. And I'm gonna sit over the ore to smelt. Looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more coal in here. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. I'm not quite sure what to do in the next one. Uh, I'll think of something. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll think of something fun and interesting, hopefully. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Ding, ding, ding.